Ladies and gentlemen, Will Smith and Jada Pinkett Smith. For the past 25 years, she has told Americans what to read, how to diet, how to decorate. She's given away millions of dollars of her favorite things. But this Wednesday, Oprah Winfrey wraps up her highly successful daytime talk show. What flu influence has Oprah had on our culture and what legacy will she leave behind? And what effect has it had on television? To help us put this all in perspective is John Pollock, the chairman of Humanities at Madison College. Good to see you, John. Good, Good to see you again. You know, she, uh, Oprah ran an interesting promo where she talked about the season, the series finales of a lot of shows, Cheers and MASH. Do you think her last show is going to be in that category of you will remember where you were when Oprah went off the air. I would think so. I mean, just looking at uh, just looking at today's show, this is it's it's in the United Center. It's it's epic. It's this very large scale kind of thing. It just seems to be getting you know, there just has to get bigger, right? She's not going to end it by having, you know, some person on with a potato shaped like a <laughs> duck or something like that. So, well, so there yeah, goes it's our guest for huge. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. Why why do you think she's had such an influence? Well, I, I think there are a whole bunch of reasons. I, I think she has a great, um, a great personal story that there's such a, uh, the idea of a rags to riches story is such a big part of American culture. And there are some people on closer inspection that haven't really lived that, but Oprah really has. I mean, she had this chaotic childhood that she's talked about quite often, including some time back and forth between parents. And she went to uh, Tennessee State University, historically black college in Nashville. Uh, public school, but was kind of discovered there as somebody who had some real potential in in broadcasting, and has just gone on and gotten bigger and bigger. Just has a, has a real talent, and uh, so I think a lot of people identify with her there. Um, with her TV show, she's she's always had this more personal angle than often exists in journalism. Journalism journalists are supposed to be objective and kind of keep a distance, and she's always been very emotional. Uh, she's really brought the language of recovery movement and therapy in uh, to talk shows where it w really wasn't before so uh, and then on top of that you have just the the financial end you have that she's in the Forbes 400 you have her production company the film she's put out the school she's established she's she's like a force of nature Wow <laughs> what are we gonna do Mark <laughs> and, and taking up causes human rights yeah. absolutely it's yeah. really the personification of the American dream yeah don't you think yeah that she has um, yeah that uh, that in addition to the the financial success in addition to the charitable work that she brings her friends along with her that her her best friend has a show on her network and and has become uh, famous by virtue of being friends with Oprah Winfrey. I mean, isn't, isn't that what we all want to do, that we have this and we say, oh, well, sure, we'll bring our friends along with us. It changes the face of television. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, two more shows left. Then what? Yeah, uh, well, I mean, she's got her own network, so <laughs> she's not, uh, not fading away anytime soon. No, I don't think uh, Oprah's going to fade away. No, that's for sure. It's been fun to watch. Yes. All along. All right, John, well, thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Thanks, John. Good to see you. Good to see you.